Grace Church, Ephesians 4.24. Let's wrap up Ephesians 4.24. So, put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. What a beautiful verse. It tells about what happened at conversion and the continuing results and how we've been, um, the, the, the likeness of God, the image of God is being recreated in the new creation. And we saw these characteristics of our new life in Christ, which is kind of interesting when you think about it. You may have known the Lord for five years, 10 years, 50 years, and you're like, I have a new life in Christ. You're like, well, how's that a new life if you've had it for longer than you've had then you had your old life. The idea is that it's new uh, and it's, it's the life that God has given you in Christ forever. Okay? It's your new identity. And what, what I came out with on Sunday for you was there's, you have a new commander, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he's the one who's calling the shots. Uh, by his word, you have a new country. Your citizenship is in heaven. Uh, you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places positionally. You have a new currency. Uh, you're, you're going after the riches of Christ. And, and you're not serving, you know, mammon. You're not serving money. You're not uh, wrapped up in all of that, even though that's part of daily life. Your main thing you're wrapped up in is pressing on for eternal rewards. And you have a new calling that you're to, to please the Lord. You're to live uh, for him who died and rose again on your behalf. You're no longer living for yourself. And you have a new capability. You can actually say no to sin now. Before you knew Jesus, you could only sin. And now... You're able to have, you have the power uh, to say no to sin because you've been freed from the power and penalty of sin. And you have a new consciousness that you are, you are literally far more aware now than you ever were of your sin. Before you were a believer, you would deny that you were even a sinner. Now you know the weight of your sin and you know how much you need forgiveness and you know that you have forgiveness in Christ. So you have a new commander, a new country, a new currency, a new calling, a new capability, a new consciousness. And lastly, you have a new compassion. That you have a compassion on those that are suffering the effects of sin. That you don't look down upon people that aren't believers. You look with eyes of hope and you say, I want to share the gospel with them. I want to give them uh, the gospel of the grace of God in Christ. I want to give them words of life. I want to give them the, the news, the good news that will lead to them having new life in Christ should they repent and believe. So, wow, this new life in Christ is so huge. It's so amazing. It's, it's, it goes beyond our ability to tell it, but we have on in the Word um, so many descriptions of this new life we have in Christ. So relish it, enjoy it, and live that life. Live that life with that continuing result of what happened when Jesus saved you. All right. Hey, as I made this video, I made it before I left uh, to Columbus, Ohio, but you'll be watching this while I'm at Columbus, Ohio, representing Grace Church at the Karis Fellowship National Conference on July uh, 8th through 11th. And then starting on Friday, July 12th through um, August 12th, I'll be on pastoral sabbatical, uh, taking some time studying leadership, visiting some longtime ministry friends, and just uh, enjoying the Lord and my family. And I will see you soon. I'll see you on August 13th. God bless you.